Did I miss? Did I switch him? I did. How do you switch him again? Swap. Don't worry, guys. I'll get this. Not uh, this. Yeah. I'll swap just do game this. Cam. Oh, I could do that. Or I could do this. You can definitely do that. Yeah. Four throw. Put a smoky. Oh, nice tipper. I don't care. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. That was a clean. You're to death. Not a combo, but you know, didn't take any damage. Just as good. That's gonna be some damage though. That's a shiny fight. Oh! Oh. Good job getting back to the life though. Interesting choice, forward smashing. Mm hmm. And we get an up air, another up air. And a stock. Yeah. Not as heavy, Mark. No, he's not <laughs> as heavy as Falco, that's for sure. <laughs> oh, quick nice dash. Why does it feel oh. like. Why does I feel like Javier is. The owner of a bakery, and he's just like makes bread and butter sandwiches all day long. I mean, because he's Mr. Bread and Butter from what I've seen him play today. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Although, like, there there are some quirks about his game, including the penchant for dancing blades. Yeah. But he definitely got some classic Marth combos. You know? And just Marth options. Nice. Oh, I think in a situation like that, from a Fox player, Marth is so strong when he has the stage, and so not strong when he doesn't. I think she just wait. Uh huh. Just like he went and tried to chase him down on a platform, and you're always gonna like trade or give up your stage. It mm -hmm. feels like you're always gonna do right, that. Right, 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 right. So I'd rather just kind of chill. Yeah, don't take that risk. Now that platform tech chase was really nice. Yeah, yeah. He almost got it. To, he almost got it before, but he definitely closed it out that time. Yeah, wait. Which is important. And now all, he needs some damage on Marth. Nope. Nope. So we have a new game. <laughs> Looking like Smash 4. Let's go. He has six minutes left, too. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> there you go. Uh, I knew that was coming. Platform. Ron mentioned to me how similar Javier and uh, Ultima Scout played. Really? I kind of see it, sort of. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure. I mean, I, th I think maybe... Well, I don't know. Because they, they, they obviously didn't do the ditto at all. And I don't blame them. Yeah. But, uh... No. Not sure about. Okay, that's, that's yeah, of that was a long edge guard. Kind of worked out. Yeah. Oh my goodness. As it looks like another new game. Nope. Two percent. <laughs> that young two percent. We take those. To milk boys. Yeah. I like that. Stolen. There you go. That one's free. Forward smash. Good angle. Goes but... so high. That's gonna. That's gotta yeah, be it. Did. Yeah. Good shit. So we see Javier take the first game. Yep. Now Smokey uh, earlier on was SSS tier. Yeah. But S might have stood for sucks because he keeps losing. That, you know, it's, I, I, I keep seeing him losing. I like this choice, by the way. Maybe from, it from stood Smokey. for Smokey surely sucks. <laughs> yeah, I, 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 I like this stage uh, from Fox's perspective in this matchup. Yeah, I actually do too. A lot of, uh, like, it's a classically, this is like Marth's yeah. story. Right. But, but there's a lot Fox can do nowadays. Yeah. Like you don't run into his like dumb stuff. Try not to get find yourself on a platform. You crouch cancel some of the affairs and stuff. Yeah, I, I just think it's so easy for Mark to get rushed down on the stage by Fox. Yeah, and the up air kills real early. Yes, it which does. Smoke, Although, you tried to uh, right. exhibit there. Yeah. yeah. Might have just been ASCI, but you didn't noticeably go to the side. And uh, then one of the big differences that was pointed out to me by I don't remember who it was okay. is that um, those these characters edge guard each other pretty hard. Yeah. Fox edgeguards, I mean, Marth edgeguards Fox pretty hard on every stage. Fox right. sort of gets a buff on this stage because you just knock him off, like, easier. You oh, know what I mean? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I see that. Uh, I mean, Marth kind of gets a buff because you can't do a low sweet spot as well against him. Yeah, because he has, like, a tilt. Yeah, because yeah. it's slow the stage. But still, points taken. Yeah, I don't remember who told me that. It was somebody that was, like, worth remembering. Mm -hmm. <laughs> now, up Smash probably going to do it. Yeah. Another thing about Yoshi's story... Uh, kill power way up, especially for Fox. Right. Okay, low stone off that top. Nice and job, though. Randall's coming out. He knew, but he didn't shine stall or go yeah. up at all. Didn't really commit to going for Randall. Just like maybe I'll go for Randall. He just kind of like went towards the wall. Right. He's like, wow, that wall looks really hard. Let me test it by hitting my head against <laughs> it. Nice job. Nice job. Ah, I oh, to he counter. missed. I don't know what he was doing by crashing. I wanted to see him get up, go out there, and just like forward air or something. Yeah, because he, he was he was low enough that it that it was definitely a thing. All right, but he gets the, he yeah. gets the tipper setup. 
Yeah, we didn't take too much damage, so that's okay. Yeah, whenever like a space animal is for all you new play new players and Marth players out there, whenever a space animal is gonna fall below the plane of the stage and they don't have their jump, you can just go out there and hit them. You can I mean, unless there. they're super far away. But right. in that case, you can pretty probably just grab the ledge. You can just grab the ledge and maybe go out there with a the back air. But yeah. yeah. Take that stock. It's pretty clean right now. But, you know, Marth can, Marth can bring this back. Not if he forward smashes the other direction. That, that, well, there's I mean, no one over that, there. That's say. <laughs> maybe don't do that. Randall is now on that side of the stage. Doesn't go for him. Back on. Back air. Ooh. I like the choice of the elbow. Smokey's like really been working the platforms this game. Mm -hmm. I wonder if that's like a big part of his strategy. That was really interesting. It's the get the probably happy interest goes straight for the ledge. Just miss space the forward smash. Oh. And that's a up till not gonna do it! Not gonna do it quite yet. One more. That's it. Now Maybe he's still get the, get the edge guard, please. Oh, oh probably the worst edge guard of the day. And Smokey there takes game two. There have been some too. candidates, but I could definitely, I could definitely see that being the case. I maybe I missed a couple of the bad ones. I mean, it's, it but was, that was that was no contest from what I. Saw. I mean, uh, that was pretty Javier bad. was struggling earlier edge guarding uh, Ultimate Scouts, Captain Falcon. Oh, that's true. I kind of looked away during that set a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> Not gonna lie. Not gonna lie. I don't, I don't care. Yeah. So we have the FD pick. Right. Uh, I've never seen Javier chain grab. I'm gonna assume he's proficient at it if he chose this stage. Yeah, I hope so. Yep, and that's actually the correct thing to do as Marth there. You can't counter because if they go straight up, you won't hit. So you want to walk away from the ledge a little yeah. bit and either down tilt or forward smash depending on their percent. Right, yeah, he was too far away for rolling towards the edge and countering yep. the work. Okay, that's another That's shot. interesting. No, oh, and another candidate for worst edge guard of the day. Yeah, Javier putting on a clinic of how to miss edge guards, <laughs> but playing really well otherwise. Yeah, exactly. Like he wins neutral a lot, and then he just doesn't finish his coming back to the item. Yeah, imagine like how scary a player he would be if he did every single time. That's the difference between the good players and the great players, yeah. right? Yeah, exactly. You gotta fin it. You gotta get those. If you're gonna be great. Oh my goodness, great spot dodge. Hot on Nick of time. Yeah, a lot of players like really into spot dodging against Marth because not only, you know, he's of course he's grab heavy, he has a great grab game. Yeah. We're on FD, it's Fox Marth, he's gonna grab a lot. Right. But also there really aren't any lasting hitbox that Marth can put out yeah. in order to uh, hit a spot dodge. Right, he doesn't have persistent hitboxes. You can maybe do get it with like second hit a nair or something, but backer. Okay, get the land forward smash. And good DI. But he didn't have a jump. Still over. Yeah. And I've thought for a long time, uh, this isn't that bad of a stage for Fox, because Foxes aren't getting grabbed anymore. It's like not happening. Right, right. yeah. It's not happening. It doesn't It doesn't happen nearly as much as it used to. There's a grab, but instead of going for the chain grab that up, he just... Yep, and uh, a lot of Mars recommend, when you're that close to the edge of the stage, just throw him off. Right. Because your edge guard is so strong it's against so strong. Fox. Yep. Especially when he doesn't have any platforms to aim for. He just has to either go for the ledge or the stage. Up there's up there, up to three grabs. Oh, okay. Okay. That actually doesn't work there, but he did it anyway, so <laughs> sure. <laughs> Maybe he like predicted the DI or something. I guess. Another spot dodge. These spot dodges have been coming in clutch for Smokey. Yeah. Oh, he went for it. He really went for it. All right. Still, Javier is definitely in the driver's seat right now. And that's gonna be pretty good. If he goes straight up, oh. a good fastball, otherwise yeah. he would have uh, surely been the end of a stock. Up air. I'm not gonna be able to get anything else after that. I think though. that should have been in there. Yeah. That's just my opinion. Just gotta, gotta accept that you're not gonna get anything else. Try to send him off stage. Yeah, I mean, that should be the stock. Right. And now this is really rough. This is so rough right oh, now. Oh, wow. Smokey it's... trying to. If Smokey takes this game, it's huge, because then the counter pick like, yeah. sways the other direction. Oh, my goodness, that's it. Oh, God, no. I thought he was going to be able to get a finisher on that. Down throw, good down throw. Nice. Corner, I guess? <laughs> I, I mean, oh, there's something. It? Oh! oh that is huge. Uh, Smokey wins game three. We're now 2 1. That means that even if Javier does win this next game, it is 2 1 in Smokey's favor. He just won a match on FD. They're going back. Which means that. Oh, see, so they're going to go back. But now, even if he can't do it again, wow, that shine nair. Smokey did. Smokey won. 
Yeah, it's, it's, yeah. He'll still have a counter pick of his yeah, choice. He's, he's still got the counter pick in his favor. Wow, and these custom combos. Yep. Call those build a build a bear. Uh -huh. And that sh could be the stock down there. Ooh. All right, so the Mewtwo King is a uh, forward tilt there. Right. Yeah. Because uh, it kind of covers everything, and then if they go up, you can cover it with either a nair or an up tilt. Yeah, because it's not not as much lag. Yeah. Still kind of laggy, but that's yeah. Hard. Yeah, if he's a little closer, you do the down tilt because it's quicker, and then right. you can still get jump yeah, there. Yeah, you get the eye get the interrupt. However, we have an even game. Interesting air dodge, definitely not what I wanted. Jabs that was... him out of that possible grab. Yeah. I wonder if that was a bait from Smokey. Because he kind of missed an aerial and he undershot it, like uh -huh. just enough that Javier wouldn't be able to follow up. Or maybe it was just an accident. Maybe sometimes things work out. Okay, that was Could be it. super questionable. Okay. Uh, somehow. <laughs> After all of that. We have a narrow advantage. And it's gone. Up smash out of shield. Yeah, a lot of Mars from the edge, on, especially on FD for some reason. I guess because there's no platform to act as a mix-up. They're going to come on a forward air. Yeah, I mean, personally, I I like Nair coming on a Nairing, but uh, just because it sometimes beats out the crouch cancel that yeah. a lot of guys try to do, but, you know. I think the worry from uh, Javier is that Smokey's been known to, I think he's done a couple times in this set, like full hop drill people's aerials. Yeah. So I think the fair might help him cover that a little bit. Okay, yeah, yeah, definitely got the, got the hitbox above it. Um, yeah, because otherwise Mars' options from the ledge are pretty limited. He's got his regular get up under 100%, and he can he can perfect ledge dash into shield or spot dodge and be completely invincible, and that's it. So what started out with Javier winning the first game, now looks like Smokey might win two consecutive games on the strongest counter pick for Marth. Yeah, he's, I don't know if he just figured him out or if, you know, jokesies, but you know. It's like impossible not to trade with that fire sometimes. Uh -huh. like if it's not your day, you're gonna trade with the fire every time. Yeah, yeah. Tough. Sharkin right now, looking for that opening. There it is. And he sort of created that really cleverly. Um, mm -hmm. A lot of foxes know, because we watch him do the chain grab, which I don't think I've seen him actually like complete yet, uh, okay. because he didn't really get a chance. That was pretty yeah. good, yeah, like 60. 60. Yeah, 60 is acceptable for sure. But, good air dodge, but that. That's, that's gonna be it. Is that the Javier, great showing. Uh, going out third place, not bad at all. Uh,